evaluate integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 root of sin x by root of sin x plus root of cos x dx. So, one may be tempted to say that the answer is pi by 4, but it is incorrect in the case of this problem. So, in the case of this problem, so another property has to be applied. So, that property you may be recollected in your mind by observing this problem. This problem seems to be rather integral 0 to, sorry not 0 to here, integral a to b f of x dx. Whenever integral a to b f of x dx is there, integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx, we can write it. So, that is why using that property, the answer is not pi by 4, answer may be pi by 12. So, let us check whether we are going to get pi by 12 or not. So, let us solve this problem. So, consider i equals to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 root sin x by root sin x plus root cos x dx say equation 1. Now using property using integral a to b f of x dx equals to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. These properties are very very important. They play vital role while solving these kind of problems. So, now, so this can be written integral pi by 6 to pi by 3. Pi by 6 means 30. Pi by 3 is 60. 60 plus 30, 90 only. So, that means this we can write now root of sin of a plus b. a plus b means I already told you 90. 90 means pi by 2 minus x. And root of sin of 90 minus x plus root of cos of 90 minus x dx. Okay. So, now here we get this i equals to again integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 sin 90 minus theta is cos theta. So, this becomes cos x, this becomes cos x, this becomes sin x. So, now this is root of cos x by root of cos x plus root of sin x dx, say equation 2. Adding equation 1 and equation 2. Let us see what do we get it. So, now we get so now we get 2i equals to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 root sin x by root of sin x plus root cos x dx plus pi by 6 to pi by 3 root of cos x by root of cos x plus root of sin x dx. So, let us write it as a single integral value. So, this is equal to pi by 6 to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3. This is pi by 3. 
now root of sin x by root of sin x plus root of cos x added with this value root of cos x plus root of cos x plus root of sin x dx. So now we get we get this equals to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 LCM is just you see root sin x plus root cos x is same as root cos x plus root sin x. So we can write root sin x plus root cos x. So now here we can write root sin x plus root cos x. Now dx. Just check the problem. Now numerator and denominator both are equal. So we get 1. So this, this gets cancelled. We get 1. This equal to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 dx this equal to x now limits pi by 6 the lower limit pi by 3 upper limit now let us substitute the limits so we get upper limit in the place of x minus lower limit this is 60 minus 30 30 30 is in radians again pi by 6 but this is equals to 2i it's very important. Now 2i equals to pi by 6. Here we need to find out i value. So therefore i equals to pi by 6 into 2, 12, pi by 12. This is the answer.